What's going on, boys? Painting day. Finally. I haven't really been in the mood for painting recently, but today we're painting. I'm back at it. We got, I got two eight inchers. They are one of ones that I, um, actually they were trolling baits, my nine inchers that I got ready for my, ooh, got ready for Musky Max earlier, late last year, late 2018. And I didn't end up getting them done. So I cut them shorter, made a different profile, and made them casting baits. Then I got... I have two of those. Then I have three of the serpentine gliders we're going to get into today. I got one 6-inch shake and wake. Two 7-inch shake and wakes. And also a one sinuous glider that i'm stoked to paint i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this one or sell this one only one i have at the moment and this it actually says good on the top if you can see that so apparently when i tested it it worked good so we're going to i'm going to clean these off tape the lips prime them and then i'll be back with y'all to clean if I can find my stinking spray now oh I'm blind I like to clean before I paint unless my gun is super dirty or I forgot to clean the paint out don't do that that never works out good I like to clean it out with ammonia free um, Windex the ammonia in Windex will eat the rubber seals and whatnot out of your airbrush, so don't use win normal Windex because it'll trash the airbrush. So I clean my needle typically. I'll run some of this ammonia-free Windex through the airbrush then as well before I start painting. And then I also have a bottle of just water to clean the Windex out. Um, and also, before I start painting and during painting, periodically, I use this stuff. It is um, Lehman, Lyman, however you say it, stainless steel polish and cleaner. It basically does a tremendous job. Craig Lynch gave me this tip a couple years back. Um, does a tremendous job at keeping your needle clean and preventing tip dry during painting so you're not getting spattered and stuff randomly. You can lube the trigger with it as well, but no other lubes do work better for lubing the trigger. Ready? Well, we don't have any more oil for the airbrushes. So, well, airbrush, because my other one's trash. So I'm going to use my uh, Alexa 400 oil they gave me. Since I don't actually own the Lex anymore, since it fell in the river and is owned by the Delaware. I'll make good use of it. me I was so smart as to decide to not write a list when I went to the store this morning to get supplies so I forgot Dixie cups and I do a lot of paint mixing like different colors mixed together and stuff like that to get some cool colors out of it and I don't mix in my gun because that makes a mess paint never gets mixed thoroughly and then you get tip dry a lot quicker and just i don't doesn't spray well i did it when i first started painting but look the last two and a half three years i have been mixing all my paints in dixie cups and then just pouring them directly into my gun 
I'm sure it wastes a lot of paint compared to mixing it directly in your cup, but uh, it's worth it to me with the finished product. So, running back to the store to get some Dixie cups and paint. I'm pretty excited to paint. I haven't been excited to paint in a while, so I'm stoked. We're gonna. I'm not really gonna try and get everything done. I'm just gonna try and do the craziest paint jobs that I've done in a good while. Um, stole a few pictures from a couple builders I know, um, Bangarang, and a few other people for some inspiration. Obviously, not gonna copy their paint work. I don't copy anybody's stuff, but I do like to get some ideas and branch off from them go my own direction so we'll see what we can do i'll check back with y'all when we're back from the grocery store <laughs> They look like this, except they have a big old tail on the back end, big old 10 inch grub tail. And um, took it out to a creek by my house to test it out. And I decided to throw up the drone because I haven't been using it much and I've been wanting to learn how to use it better. And about the third cast, um, a muskie just hammers it. And I actually landed it, it didn't have a net or anything, but I just grabbed her by the old gill plate and picked her up. So it was pretty sweet. Check out the footage. I'm going to pop it up right now, and then I'm going to put up some footage of the finished baits that I just finished up. Diving rises, shaking wakes, serpentine gliders, sinuous gliders. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.